ever been in the mix and you're dropping an acapella on a beat and it sounds kind of dope and you're like damn i wish i didn't have to do all this work every single time i do this song so today in serato studio we're going to take these two tracks and i'm going to show you guys how we're going to make this remix super fast super easy and you can use this on your next live event you ready let's go So as I said before, sometimes we want to do less work when we're DJing. It's cool to drop those acapellas and those remixes on the fly. But once you've got to a point when you're doing that very same remix over and over again, maybe it's time to just turn it into a song. So before we get started, if you want to follow along or if this is something that you want to do in the future, drop down in the details below, click on that link to get yourself two free months of Serato Studio using my code Cleveland. That's right, it'll give you full access to Serato Studio for two whole months. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. All right, guys, let's get into the app and let's see what we're talking about here. So let's take a look at this right now. So first, we're gonna head over to the Serato Studio application. So when you first open up Serato Studio, you're gonna have two options. One, to make a brand new beat from scratch or two, to remix the track, basically what we're doing today. So we're gonna click on new remix and we are gonna head over to our Serato library. And I already have where I put these songs before on my last set list. So they are all in here. Now, I wanna say right off the bat, if you aren't using Serato DJ, it's okay. You don't actually need Serato DJ to make this thing work. Basically, you can drag and drop from your desktop, from your iTunes, from another app. You can do all those things. It's not limited to Serato Studio, but the workflow is definitely a little easier. Let's scroll down here and just like in Serato, it has all of my crates already built in. So I can just walk over here and search and we're gonna search for two songs. First, we're gonna search for My Sharia Moore, which is right here. And we're gonna take this song and we're gonna drag the audio clip right into this big box right here. All right, so now that we have that one, we're gonna add the next song. Also, I do wanna mention that the BPM and the key are synced upon the first track. Any subsequent track will have that new key signature and BPM signature. This can be adjusted on the fly. You can turn it off or on, depending on what you need for your song. Okay, now, once they're both in, let's get out of this and go back to the song view. Now, we have our two songs together. So, you could go as easy as you want. I mean, I could take this song right now and then just drag it over to the start of where I believe the song's gonna start and then just let this song just kind of ride all the way through. And you can definitely do that. That's kind of like if you were doing the live mix. But since we have a little more control over exactly what we wanna do, we are going to mess around with it a little bit more because as I've made this live remix on the fly, there's been a couple of times where I'm like, I wish that this part wasn't here. I wish I could use this part over here, but that's gonna to take too much time, too much work, too many cue points to make that happen. Now we're actually gonna make that happen. So let's take a listen to how this song sounds. And I've kind of gently lined it up. We're gonna to listen to the song and then we're gonna kind of get a feel for what we wanna do. Okay, that works, that works. Okay, so let's talk through this real quick before we get to the edits here. Now, I can, again, play this just as I normally did, and that would be just fine. But what we want to do is we want to actually make some cuts, 
move some things around so they work better. So first off, I'm gonna tell you, I don't want all three verses in there. So we're gonna take just the two verses, we're gonna cut the song down, and we're gonna make that happen. And then we're gonna chop up the Stro Elliott beat, and we're gonna place those things where we want. And then we'll make a couple of other tweaks, but um, we're gonna do that on the fly. So first off, it's actually right where it needs to be, so that's perfect. But we don't want this particular part of the song. We don't want this one. This one's too busy for the song itself. So later on in the track, as we scroll down, there is actually another version, which is much better. This one. So we're gonna take that part of the track and then we're gonna move that to the front and then this part right here, this part is going to be the verse and we're gonna keep this as the verse. We're just gonna cut it up and then do some loops. And then we're gonna shorten the track down. So let's shorten the track down first because that's the easiest thing for us to do. So let's solo this guy right here so we can hear where we want. I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay, so this is the third verse right here. We don't want this. So we are gonna hit Command E and it's gonna split the track. Now, as you can see right here, it's actually tried to make its own little clip cue point. We don't need that. So we're gonna delete that guy out and we're gonna delete this guy out. So let's get rid of him and let's get rid of him. So now the song itself, the acapella version is good. Now let's go into the actual song and let's do some edits. So let's start with this part. And as you can see, clip one is actually the entire song. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and edit this down but we're gonna wait for just a minute. And let's go to the verse because that's where we want to take our beat from. And I just hit two. And I accidentally pressed clip twice. All right. So this is going to be our verse beat. We have two different directions here. We got this little line which sets up our clip point. We have this pointing left and this pointing right. This is the start. And this is where it's going to end. So we're gonna take this little arrow and we're gonna stretch it all the way to that part. And then we need to take the other chorus, which I believe is this one over here. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna drag him down. We have our intro, we have our main verse, we have our hook. And we also have, again, our outro, which we're going to use as this one. We have everything we need. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the main part. And we're just going to get rid of basically this whole thing. And we're just going to start making our clips the way we want them. Okay. And let's bring that. Let's. Let's bring that verse in. And we can duplicate this one just like we did before. Okay. Now, for this part right here, I want to tweak it out a little bit because when I normally DJ this, I always bring this part out and let the echo just kind of come through. It kind of really emphasizes that we're starting a new verse. So let's take this guy right here and we're just gonna shrink him down a little bit. And I think he's right about here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so what I did was I accidentally deleted too much of the song before on the verse. So we need to go ahead and extend this out a little bit. And that's as easy as just pulling this out like this. And 
we know what part this is. Okay, and that's the part where we want it to end. And then we want to bring our outro beat, which is really just a verse, but it'll go really well when we're trying to mix out. And then we'll just give it a nice, we'll give it a nice 16. Okay, basically the song is done, but I want to tweak it a little more. I want to add a little more dynamics. I want to actually add a snare throughout the song to just give it a little more live dynamics. So we're going to take the song part, we're going to take the verse part, and then we're just going to trim it up and turn it into a little bit of a sample. So we're going to head over to our scenes and we're going to drag and drop the same Stro Elliot back up here. And then it's going to attempt to make its own cue points. All right, so I, this is where we want to take it from. But I want to find a clean, as clean a snare as I can. That one right there. That's my clean snare. Let's take this starting point and we're going to move this right here to the cue point. And since we don't need anything else, we're going to get rid of these guys because they're just getting in the way. I just did a shift and a click to hold them down and now I can delete them. Okay. Now that's my snare. So we just need just a little bit of it. Let's just grab it. It's too short. Don't like that little lip. I think that's good. And then we're gonna take the bass off because it's a little too much. I'm not gonna do a low pass filter because then it really hollows out the track. I think that's good. Then we're gonna move over to our little scene editor here and we're just gonna add a snare. Now, if I wanted to, I could literally play the entire track and put the snares exactly where I wanted to, but I don't need to do this for this song. This is really about kind of creating a more dynamic feel. So I'm gonna just pick and choose where I wanna put this clip at. Okay, we are done with this edit. The only thing left to do is to hit that export button. Exporting is super simple. Go to file and then export song. Select if you want to be an MP3 or a WAV file, or if you really wanted to, you could export the stems. In this case, we're going to just export as a MP3. Give it a name, hit save, and in real time, we're going to watch this thing fully render. And just like that, we are done. And that's it. It's as simple as that to make your own custom remix, your own custom edits, and you could do it in a really short amount of time. And that's what's really great about Serato Studio. It has easy entry for you to get in, get out, do the things you need to do in a quick and efficient manner. So for all you people interested, make sure you drop down the details below, click on that link to get your two months free using my code Cleveland. This is just one of the four videos I'll be doing this month. So I hope you guys can stick around and enjoy the process with me. Guys, if you found what I said are useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said are really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. And also get on my Discord. That's where I'm handling all of my tech-related questions. And it just keeps everybody together 
it's a big family on my Discord server. So get on there. Always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.